Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to continue our discussion of constraint layout. So here's the emulator right here. We have it uh, in the emulator. We also have it in Android Studio. But in the last video, we added this photo here. We cropped it, center cropped it. Um, it's constrained against the left, the top and the right. So it'll scale across any device size. Today, let's put a title below it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's go back to Android Studio and do uh, open up content main. Again, you just select Android there and open up app, resources, layouts, and then it's content main. And I wanna go ahead and put a text, a title right below their, their photo to say, hey, this is for first responders or whatever. So we have some common ones here. And if you don't see that, you can open it up that way. Let's go ahead and drag text view and let's just drag it, drag it right there for now. I'll put it a little bit lower. Uh, let's go ahead and save that and run it in the emulator. And we should see it show up in the emulator. So just give it a second and here it is. But we don't see the text view. That's because we haven't actually set its constraints. So if we were to click on that and uh, click drag up to there, up to that, uh, then click drag over to the left, just so it has something on the top, top and bottom and or, sorry, let me say that again. Just so it has something either on the top or the bottom and either the left or the right. So just a vertical constraint and a horizontal constraint. So if we save that and run it, I think this should make it show up. And it does, so there it is. So obviously we don't want it to say text view, so I'm gonna select that. And on the right side, uh, we can open up attributes there and let's search for text size. I'm gonna set the size to about 30 SP. Um, let's set its text to, let's call this, um, we'll say welcome to, let's do, Welcome to our app. So there's our title. And one more thing, the color. So let's do this. Let's search for text color. And there is our text color. Let's go ahead and change that. I think we can use this here. We'll just change it to, uh, we'll change it to black. So we'll just go ahead and select black there. So I'm gonna save that and run it. And because we set our constraints to the top and left, we should see it there and there it is. So there's all kinds of controls for this. So you'll notice if I wanted to, uh, that's, that's probably setting it fixed. I don't think we want, here's the text view, text size. So yeah, you can see all the stuff we just entered. So we're in design mode right here, but if you wanted to manually come in here and say, hey, I want a certain amount of margin or margin left or margin top, or we wanted a certain color, see we just set it to black. It created that line there for us. Text size 30 SP, uh, top to bottom of, so there it is. So if I were to close this, I'm gonna just close everything just to clear it up. Let's go back into content main and here is our app. So uh, it has a margin, oh, so there's the margin top. That's where it comes from. So margin top is 104 dp. If we were to select that again, we could actually just change it over here on the side. So I'll change it back to, actually I'll change it to 16. There we go. That looks good right there. So I'm gonna run it one, one last time and I think this should be it. And it is. So now we want to display uh, when, it, when the app was last updated. So let's go ahead and grab a text view. I'm just gonna drag it somewhere in here. I'm gonna do the top to the top of that. Click, drag, let go, click, drag. Actually, we'll do it to the size of that. We'll do it, to, we'll do it to the, constrain it to the left side of that. So there we go. So that's, we, let's get rid of the margin on the left. I'll set that to zero. And let's go ahead and do it. Let's do, let's search for uh, text and let's change its text to um, updated five minutes ago. That looks good. Um, I also wanna make it bold. So let's do, let's search for our text style. We'll do style, we'll set it to uh, cancel out of there. I think we should be able to set it. I, I usually use this in, uh, I usually use this in the text mode. I don't usually use this editor, but I'm pretty sure it's just bold. Why can't I set it? See, th this is one of the this is one of the reasons I don't really use this. Uh, is it in here? I don't know. That's why I always use the text editor. It is text style though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why it's not working. Here we go. So I'll make it bold. Apply, and there we go. We also want to make this red. So let's do a uh, text color, and let's change our text color to. We'll change it to pound sign C E. Zero, 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 zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and run it one more time. There's a car outside that almost got in a wreck. 
I'm right. I'm downtown in Austin, Texas. So I'm literally facing. So it's about it's 7:22 p.m. right here. I see about 200 cars outside my window, like 200 cars outside my window, semi trucks, everything. It's crazy out there. Okay, so there's our updated five minutes ago. So that's all we're gonna do in this app, in the next, or in this video. In the next video, we'll do more stuff. I don't know what, just whatever else you think. Leave a comment if you wanna learn something specifically. So the past couple of videos, we've been looking at constraint layout using image views and text views and positioning them and stuff. So if you have more questions, just leave them in the comments. And I'll, if I have time, I'll try to get to them. So I'll see you in the next video.